Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher, Editorial Director at Sweetwater. I'm here with Greg Koch. We've been talking about the GDEC amplifier, but the GDEC also comes with free software, which is the Fuse software. That's Can correct. Can you give us kind of a rundown of what that's about? Absolutely. This Fuse software on this GDEC, or the GDEC, if you will, is magical. When I'm on a particular sound, all of a sudden the amplifier appears. Now again, the USB cord from your amplifier goes into your computer. You have the Fuse software on a disc that's uh, included on all your handy dandy uh, accoutrement that you get with your GDEC in the packaging. GDEC, I should say. I don't want to get too facetious with you because you may think I'm not kidding. Um, anyway, so you've got the main amplifier control face. And this is a sound that I put on there that has a little bit of delay, a ducking delay on the back. And then a ambient reverb sound. And the sound of an old, like a Tweed Deluxe driven so that the power amp tubes are submitting to a fine, gristalicious sizzle. Mm -hmm. But say I want to mess around with some different sounds. Maybe I want to, well, well, how would this particular thing sound with a, a different style of a, a Tweed amp with a little bit more fill? <laughs> How would it sound with a black face here? Like a twin or something like that. Or maybe an overdriven Vibrolux or Super Reaver. Or another even more. Like an old, uh, whatever old black face amp cranked up to submission. And then you have all these other different options that I'll just kind of go through. And again, the face of the amp just comes up and it's easy to kind of change the different sounds by, you know, just kind of going up and once you, you kind of click on whatever control you want to use. So the Jazzmaster amp is a, 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 a solid state, very uh, uh, high headroom clean amplifier for playing jazz music for the kids. Uh, there's also the old Sun head. Of course, Fender's making Sun again, or had been. <laughs> Got a very uh, distinctive distortion sound. Uh, there's a couple different uh, versions of how the sun sounds. Then you got into something that looks a little bit uh, of an English nature that mm -hmm. perhaps the uh, the Battelles would have used, the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Get the idea, and you can uh, you know dial that in any which way that you want. This looks suspiciously like a yet another British amp. yes, another British amplification device of a vintage nature. And then there's versions of more of a modern interpretation of the uh, same said English amplifier. Uh, back to the old one, there's the new one again, and then uh, another high gain situation, another high gain situation that we won't mention who it looks like, some kind of rectifier, if you will. And then to the Fender Deluxe series. Anyways, you get the idea. All these different amps are lurking in there. You can mess with them, you get all these different tones happening. Right, and it gives you a visual way to really look at what's going on inside the amplifier and easily Correct. get your fingers on it, if you will. A absolutely, and you can, you can do most of the same things on the amplifier itself. There's some things that you can access on here that you can't on the actual amp, but this just makes it easy instead of scrolling through for all the different things, all the different controls are right in front of you, they're visualized, it's, it's pretty easy. But one of the things that's very, very cool about this is that you know how effects sound different when they're going through the effects loop as opposed to being in front of the amp? Right. Well, you have that choice. So over here, uh, this is kind of, you know, here's the amplifier, here's all the stuff before it, so if I want you know, the way a delay sounds in front of an amp as opposed to behind it is very different because, you know, it, the signal will get, the uh, delay signal will also get distorted along with uh, everything else, right? So sure. if I go over here and click on that, all of a sudden your delay comes up. That's that kind of sound that right. one of those old delays would get if they were right in front of the amplifier. And once so, you've made the changes here, they're over in the amp. Yeah, so you, you can, have to you press can... save. Okay. Okay. But you can also save them on your fuse. Now, there's 99 presets on the amp. So you can change over the 99 presets. Or on your SD card, you can store as many as you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you can, you know, export it out to your SD card and store as many as your SD card will hold, depending on how, what the capacity is. Right. But on your laptop, you know, again, depending on the laptop capacity, but it's exponentially unlimited, basically. unlimited, basically. So you can have as many different sounds as you want. And then via the SD card or through the USB port right into the amp, you can swap out whatever you want to do as far as what sounds you want. So you can either have the amp be as is and just a, a great 
thing to play with all the celebrity sounds and so on and so forth, or you can completely replace everything on there with more personalized sounds and bed tracks and the whole nine yards. Right. Not to mention the fact that that whole community situation that you can go online with this and start swapping sounds and bed tracks with other users online is a really cool thing as well. Right, and this comes free with the amplifier. That's correct. Greg, thanks so much for giving us a tour of the Fuse software. Really appreciate it. No problem, my pleasure. If you have questions, give your Sweetwater sales engineer a call. I'm Mitch Gallagher, editorial director here at Sweetwater.